Well, we are live. I'm not sure if this is coming through. I just got off a conference call and the internet was fine, so I thought I would go live as we went through uh, Lake Powell. We're heading up Highway 89 um, through Arizona and to Utah here shortly. Canyon Dam. And this is Lake Powell. Just make a quick stop here for some pictures at the uh, visitor center as soon as you come into Utah. Good morning. Day seven of our Pacific Northwest vacation, Route 66 to Pacific Northwest. Uh, yesterday we ended our Route 66 portion of the vacation once we reached the Grand Canyon area of Arizona and we went north up 89 and all the way up to Mount Carmel Junction, which is about 10, 12 miles outside of Zion National Park. And so you see right behind me is the Best Western and the Thunderbird restaurant. That's where you check in for this RV park that we're at. It's a very small RV park, but it backs up to a nice little creek. So you see this little RV park here? That's our spot right there, spot number one. And then right next to us is some cabins, which there's nobody in these cabins right now. Um, so we've got a really cool spot here. Let me go over and show it to you. So today we're gonna to be here two nights. And today is just a chill day. Uh, we're not gonna disconnect and take the motor home out. And we don't have enough seats on our Jeep to take all the grandkids. So we're going to use the pool at the Best Western. So you get a card. Best Western owns this property as well as these cabins. And so, You've got a nice green belt behind the spots and it backs up right to a creek. Right now during the summertime, the creek is uh, not very high. I'm sure during the snow melt times it, uh, it gets better, but there's still running water. It's pretty clear. Especially and so we are staying here for a couple of nights. The cool thing about this is you've got a creek right behind our RV, which we haven't played in yet, but we probably will later today. And you've also got full use of the pool at the Best Western across the street. So we're getting ready to head over with all five kids to check out the pool. Again, uh, we finished up breakfast. I uh, basically got interrupted with a delicious breakfast this morning. So we're right across the street from the RV park at the hotel. So this is East Zion RV Park and Hotel. It's owned by Best Western. And um, the RV park is about 10 spots wide, right across the street. And all the spots back up to a nice creek that's flowing below the are right behind the spots there's a there's a, about a 10 or 12 foot band of grass and then a little bit of a slope down to the creek and then then a mountainside that looks much like that so basically we're right over behind this building there's a street and then if you see the trees over there those trees are all those trees are in that rv park so the park is just left of this building across the street and so it backs up to a creek that's right at the base of um, those hills right there 
Uh, so what I wanted to do was just kind of tell you about Eastside RV Park. Uh, I, the rate is was quite cheap, um, and this is about 12 miles outside of the Zion National Park entrance. Today is a rest day, and we're going to play in the pool. So I wanted to show you the pool that you get use of from the RV park. So the RV park, as I said, no real amenities over there. It's just a, a gravel lot with some grass in the back that you back up to. There's about eight or ten spots there. They do have full electric sewer and water hookups. There's also um, a building over there. They call them cabins. It's, I think it's got about four or five cabins in the building. And there's a bunch of chairs over there you can use to sit out by the, uh, the creek as well. So for the price and the scenery here, um, it's probably one of my favorite destinations because you're right on a little creek. You've got the uh, outdoor setting that you can see behind here, but then you can walk across the street to the Thunderbird restaurant and also to the um, to the pool here, and you get full use of the pool and the spa. So I'm gonna I'm gonna walk around, show you the walk around of the spa. We've got the pool to ourselves as we did last night. Last night we were here around 6.30 and we stayed in, or no, 5.30. We stayed in from 5.30 to 7.30 and there was only a few people here. It started getting a little crowded at 7.30. We got here today um, just a little while ago, before a little bit before noon, I think, and uh, nobody's here. So they, they've got a kitty area, a little kitty pool area here that's three feet. It's got some steps that go down. And then it starts at this end at three feet. But the nice thing about it is the pool goes all the way up to eight feet. So you can definitely swim here and jump. It still says no diving. And they do have complimentary towels. They've got plenty of, uh, well, at least for now, they've got plenty of seats, umbrellas, lounge chairs. And I'll take you over here just for a second. If you see that brown building over there, that is the cabins at the RV park. And then the RV park is to the left of that of the building. So those are cabins. You can see right behind it back there, there's a creek. And so the RV spots are just to the left of that. I'll show you some more of that tonight, hopefully. And then there's the Thunderbird restaurant. We ate there last night, really good food. And so this hotel is pretty cool. We're not staying at the hotel, but there's little bungalows out here as well, right on the mountainside. Pretty cool location. And obviously the kids are loving the pool. What do you guys think about the pool? It's awesome. Yeah. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful here in Mount Carmel Junction, Utah, six days in, um, activities every day, lots of driving every day, and we actually have um, two nights here at this RV park in Mount Carmel Junction, which is right off of uh, Highway 89, um, just a little ways after you cross the uh, Utah border. You guys enjoying it? Yeah. Yeah. A nice location i mean there's no amenities really as far as in the rv park but it's owned by the best western hotel which is right across the street so you get to use the pool over there there's a thunderbird restaurant there's some hiking trails around here i'm not sure if they're even official trails but you can see some trails going up into the hills there's a creek right behind our rv here um, that we're parked here and there's only probably about 10 spots in this rv park and a few cabins um, the cabins don't have anybody in them 
um, and the RV park is pretty much full. Our spot next to us, number two, is open, um, partially because it has a tension wire for the for the pole almost right in the middle of the spot. So I'm not sure how anybody uh, would use that. Say the truth, this is 